Let's do a yoga practice for 2024 to lift our spirits and get moving. So do join me in this little practice. Now try it every day for best results. So let's begin with shoulder rolls. It's rolling the shoulders back and down. Just try to release that any tightness or stiffness from the shoulders. And we just want to go up, back down and round and just really let the shoulders have a nice roll. You might feel things getting warmer as the circulation moves in. Now go the other way, roll forwards. See if you can roll forwards. And then see if we can take the hands on the shoulders, lift the elbows, circle them up and around, just getting nice big circles around the shoulders. start to go the other way, just circling forwards. Good. And after that, maybe whole arms up and around, up and around. And remember, if you can't do any of this easily today, just go back to the one you could do. So if you can't do long arms, go back to shoulder rolls or elbow rolls. Try and stretch up and around. Okay, so doing this every morning really, or at least once a day if you can get around to doing it. It's only a short little sequence. If we can do this, this will really help to raise our energy, raise our mood, get us through these winter months. Now have a little swing. Lift your heels, let the arms swing. So we're waking up the circulation. In fact, we're waking up lots of things. You know, our balance system has to kick in, our nervous system kicks in, our circulation's flowing. We're using pretty much most of the muscles in our body as we swing. And it's just quite liberating to swing and be free. So have a few more swings from side to side to side. Good. And then slowly see if you can come back to the center again. And just do heel and toe with the left foot, heel and then toe, heel and then toe, point and dig. If you can, do that off of the floor. If you need the um, floor for support though, that's okay. Carry on doing this with the foot down. And then bend the knee and lower the knee. Bend the knee, lower the knee. Stay upright, abs tight. Try and lift the knee even higher and down, higher and down. So if you don't need to help the knee, just let the knee lift itself up. And then we're going to lift to, um, oops, <laughs> we're going to lift to hip height and straighten and bend and down. So up, straighten. Now, abs tight, <laughs> abs tight, and push the heel away at hip height. Up, out, back, down. One more. Excellent. And just give the legs a shake up. Let's change. So the other side, heel and toe, heel and toe. On the floor, start there. If you can, lift the foot off of the floor. Carry on. Good. And then can we start to lift the knee? Lower the knee, lift the knee. So maybe get to hip height first of all, but if you can, go higher. If you can't go higher, lift to get things going and then try and get to that height again. If you really get stuck, use your hands to help you. Use them to help you get as much flexion at the hip as you can. But when your hip flexors are strong enough, you'll be able to lift higher and higher. And of course your abs have to work too. All this is excellent for the body. And our last one, 
Ah, good, the legs are a little shake out, good. So feet hip width apart, can we do Utkatasana? So Utkatasana, knees face the second and third toe, I'll just do it from the side. And then forward bend, straight in the knees. Try and get the ribs and thighs together. Roll up along the spine. Okay, so Utkatasana. Knees towards the second and third toe. Don't let the knees roll in, don't let them fall away. Utkatasana. And, oh, we're going forwards. Into forward bend, straighten the knees. Good, can we roll up along the spine? Can we do it again? Utkatasana, hold. And forward bend, Uttanasana. Straighten the knees, lift the tail high. Roll up along the spine by doing one more. Utkatasana. Can we fold? Straighten the knees. Rolling up along the spine. Good, roll the shoulders back. Hold the elbows, or if you're struggling with the arms today, just do, you know, sliding down the side. Arms above the head, swaying palm trees. Exhale, side, inhale up. Exhale, side, inhale up. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, pause. Inhale, 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 pause. So this little warm up, excellent way of just getting things moving not just physical things it also helps to get us moving mentally as well it may shake us out of our state of lethargy or dullness or anxiety or any of those states that aren't that helpful See if we can just do a, a little practice like this every day just to bring some sunshine into our day. Good, so our last one. And then release. Release the arms. Can you circle around your wrists? And then take your arms up in front of you, above your head and down to the sides. Can you do it again? Arms up above the head and down to the sides. Change direction, so we're just circling in the other direction. We're raising the arms up, down to the front. Arms going sideways, still circling wrists, down to the front. Can we do stop? You know that stop position with the arms, that's it. And then release, roll the shoulders a few times. Thumbs inside of fingers, so we're making a light fist and we're just circling around the wrists again. Can we go up again? Out to the side, so great for hands and wrists if you do a lot of desk work, close work, crafts, anything like that. You're using your hands a lot. Can you do this last one and then can you start to circle your hands the other way? So we're just doing what we did before. Can we go up? down, <laughs> I was going to say across the front of the body, but over the front of the body is probably better, isn't it? So down over the front of the body. And then stretch out the fingers and make a fist. Stretch out, make a fist. Stretch out, make a fist. Stretch out, make a fist. Give the hands a shake. Shake out the arms. Shake out the legs. And give everything a shake and see how you feel. Good. Try the practice as much as you can. See you next time.